Are we back? Are we back? I can't tell. You know, I think we might be, but I think I've lost it on YouTube as well. Good golly, what's going on? We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> but not on YouTube. Uh, Crystal Clicks is live now. I know, I know we're live. There we go. Deary, deary me. Right, I think we're good. I think we're here. I think we're back. <laughs> oh, and now I've got to re reset the the autofocus. The autofocus has gone all berserk. Uh, -li 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 -li. Configure. Oh, I'm getting all the weird programs pop up that start when you start your computer. Microsoft Edge. Does anyone use Microsoft Edge? I don't even know what it is. Like a web browser? Here we go. Guess who's back back again? <laughs> Had to reboot my phone because it wouldn't work on YouTube or Twitch. Oh, we, I was having, this is my end, not your end, Stacey Lou. Don't worry about that. YouTube's not working. You might have to refresh the stream on YouTube. If people are still watching the old stream, did you run out of change for the electric meter? <laughs> Wait, it was it was it was a stream lab that completely crashed on me. I could still talk on the um, thingy. What's it? Echo. Oh, what have I done now? Um. How's that? Better. No echo. Are people people trolling me. Patrick Woods really loves elephants. Very good. Right, I think we're back. I think we're back. Robert Roberts says echo. Robert Roberts, are you watching on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously? Oh, scissors. Scissors. This is the conundrum I'm facing. Where where have I put them? Right, I'm going to brute force this bag, I reckon. I have no idea where I put my scissors. I was recording a video earlier with him. Oh. Well, Adam Boots says token. Very good point, Adam. Token. There we go. My Holy Toledo token. Number 220, available at www.christophercollects.co.uk. The lucky token is in place, is in situ. Are they in the pot? They're not in the pot. I've been very bad and put them somewhere. Take my watch off. I need to buy a luminous yellow, luminous green, luminous pink scissors, and I will never lose them. That would be a sensible thing to do. Oops. Right then. Oh, what an early find. The letter P for postbox. 2018, that's the first Alphabet 10P that I found as well, the letter P. Very quick. Well, hopefully that's a sign of good things to come because we've had some pretty naff luck with our 10 P's in the past. Wouldn't it be good? Love the triple purple colour scheme, shirt, fez and card. <laughs> it's all looking purple today, bizarrely. Normally the towel looks blue, the fez looks blue. That was quick, I know. Hopefully that's not just wham bam, thank you man, we're done. Hopefully there is more to come. Goodness me, Christopher, I'm looking up scissors now. <laughs> uh, some nice, bright, luminous glow in the dark. And if if you whistle, they start beeping at you. That'd be great. That's what I need to get. I never lose them that way. Did anyone hear about the latest headlines? It's called hashtag free the stamps. I freed the stamps. You got a PO box all about stamps, and I got the worst the worst views of my vid of all the videos that were up in the last ten days. Nobody wants to see stamp videos. Approved. Two pounds for the electric bill, says Mr. B. 
<laughs> Thank you very, very much, Mr. Behoy. And I hope you're doing well as well, Mr. Behoy. I know you have been a bit under the weather. Whoopsie. Awesome early find, I know. Hopefully, we'll be able to replicate that luck throughout. But what's everyone else's star find of the week? Or your star purchase if you haven't been hunting through coins? What's your, your best new acquisition? Let me know. The letter O says Bravo, very nice. Very nice indeed. Hello, got Lord Gobi. Thanks for tuning in. Are the scissors under the feathers? I don't think so. I'm sure I would feel them. <laughs> ah, Robert wants to sort out the echo. Awesome. Hello, Alana. Can you have a link for the voting? The voting's not up yet. It will be after this bag of coins. Uh, we go. Th well, I, go uh, I let the um, we've got to let let the decisions percolate somewhat. I tell you what, someone could do though. They could post a link to Caledonian Coins is or Cali's vote as to who's going to win: Team Tower, Team Cathedral, Team Shield, or Team No Hope. If someone has, if a moderator or someone has a link from that, it's on Discord and on all the social media. We should head over and go vote for that. Um, Mackenzie got a Q. Holy Toledo, what a find. WWF or sailing. Steve Bucks coin says three new Roman coins. Wow. Best thing this week was a stent, says Patrick Woods. Well, I, I hope, you're, I hope you're, um, you're, you're improving. I did see your messages to say that you were recuperating, and I hope you are. I'm sure the, the chat will join me in, in wishing you um, a speedy, speedy recovery. Fantastic buy for me. This week was a token coin which was minted in the village where I live, says Coins and More UK. Lord Gobi says I purchased a Saxon coin, awesome. Sherlock's winning the vote, is it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Nearly went again. Are we having connection issues? The joys of technology. The joys of technology. We will battle through it. We will battle through it. I missed Shani's sticker she sent in. Huh? When? When? When did I miss your sticker? Has anyone found a queue on their videos this week? Not to the best of my knowledge. Shocking results as I voted for Team Tower, says Stacey Lee. Me too. As self appointed co team captain of uh, Team Tower. She super chatted. Oh, uh, oh! Thank you very much, Sean. I didn't notice uh, for the super chat. Little upside down smiley face. Thank you very much. Apologies, I missed that. Normally, it comes up with a little cool down thing. Was it in? Was it? Did it happen whilst uh, I was having issues, <laughs> technical difficulties? Uh, sorry, but I'm sorry I missed last room. Not a problem at all. If you're busy, you're busy. These things happen. Such is life. You can always watch them on catch up with your catch up. If you are currently watching on catch up with your catch up, hello to you. Something's going funny with my computer right now. Hold on. I had a quick fix last week. It might just be getting a little bit warm. I don't know, it's all right. Let me just prop him up a bit. Right. Hold on. This was my bizarre fix last week. Right. Oops. <laughs> Crash, bang, wallop, as usual. 
Right, hopefully that works. We'll see now. Laptop was having a funny few moments. I see no pigeons, says Patrick Woods. That's good news then. That's good news. That's better. <laughs> it is a very technical fix that I've just employed. Um, <laughs> it's a very technical fix that I just employed to um, help the stream, you see. Um, Why'd you got the EU 50p, the EU membership? Very nice. The UK's entry into the EEC. The anniversary of it, very nice. Whoops. Almost missed that one. Get in the fridge, that will sort it. Well, what I've done, I've got two very chunky highlighters and just stuck one either side underneath it to get a bit more air underneath it circulating. So yeah, te technical fixes, technical fixes as ever. Uh, what job do you have for a living, Christopher? I don't talk about my work. Um, there are some things that I think that um, I keep, I keep to myself. I talk about, I've spoken about previous jobs. When I used to be a bank manager. When I worked at Woolworths. Um, I worked as a cleaner in an, in an MOT garage when I was a kid. That was something else that really was. But no, I don't talk about what I do, do for work at the moment. If ever I change jobs, then by all means I will. If you want to have a guess at what you think I do for work, go for it. <laughs> Some of the things people have come up with assuming that I do for work are far more interesting than what I actually do. Assassin, says Tom Spotley. Spook. <laughs> Okay, so print 50p coins in your basement. Two pound coins, and I send them up north of the border. <laughs> they're on to me, they're on to me. Hello, grocery coin hunts. Shout out for DJ Ollie, a la DJ Ollie. Is that how you got into collecting coins as a bank manager? No, I've been collecting coins on not since I was a kid. See my message on Twitter. Fam Nan is Archie, eight zero seven. Okay, they are words that I recognise, but just not all strung together. I'm afraid. All right, come on, we've had some early luck. Surely we can get something else. Professional Fez model. There we go. <laughs> Yes, North Africa. You you can't see for looking for all the billboards of me wearing fezzes on them. He's the new James Bond. I I, I, I could be his 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 accountant, but um, no, I'm far too inactive to be James Bond himself. Christopher spends his time designing terrible shirts. <laughs> Very good. Your least favourite Star Wars character? Um, ooh, that's a hard question, Mr. Retz and Relin. Least favourite Star Wars... There isn't really a character that stands out that I go, oh, there's not this character. Um, in terms of, I guess, the closest I could get to that would be Jar Jar Binks. Purely because... He was a, a, an annoying... Almost said something, oh, almost slipped then. Such an annoying character, and then in the spin-offs, the Clone Wars and things, again, when he turned up, it was a Jar Jar Binks episode, it was like, oh, really, here we go again. Um, but yeah. Dan Temple shirt sales manager, there we go. Exactly, exactly that. Could you imagine it? We'd be millionaires if he put those designs on shirts. I might run that past him, actually. Uh, do you play the Milky Bar Kids on weekends? <laughs> oh, dearie dear. Bin truck driver. 
That would be good, wouldn't it? You're a taxi driver because I saw Toledo on a taxi. There we go. There we go. Been rumbled. Toledo taxis. We all know Christopher is Daniel Radcliffe's stunt double. I'm far too inactive to be a stunt double. No, not a chance. Not a chance. But no, this is not news to me. Yes, I'm aware. I look like Harry Potter. I get told virtually every day. But it doesn't face me. There are worse people to look like. And I'd rather have his money than his looks. But there we go. Poor Jar Jar gets picked on when he was a Sith Lord in disguise. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. That was a little hokum. Fan theories. Fan theories. Uh, I think bin truck driver. There we go. Christopher is the Stig. <laughs> I am not the Stig. I am. I, I, I'm not a slow driver, but I'm not that fast of a driver. Solicitor is my guess. There we go. You don't like Harry? I'm not a massive fan of Harry Potter, no. I've seen all the films, I think twice each, when they released, and then once once as an agreement. For every Harry Potter film I watched, we could watch a Star Wars film. Um, but no, not a massive fan of Harry Potter. We've got another find. It's a Guernsey Tomatoes, 1992. I think that's the common year, 92. It's a very good year, though. Very, very good year. Bungles UK tour bus driver. <laughs> dear, dear. Accountant for sure. Okay. Travel agent. Tough times for travel agents at the moment. Although I was reading that apparently um, the travel industry is doing really well at the moment. There's a real boom for people booking their holidays. So, I don't know. I'm not going, on, I'm not going abroad at the moment. I think... Everyone will be too scared to do so. Eh? They keep changing what's on lockdown and what's not on lockdown. Is Guernsey 2850 worth anything, the one with flowers? Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you. Generally speaking, though, the territory's coins will fetch more than face value, at least. Because they're such small sort of countries or places, there are less that are released into circulation. So you have, you've got more of a chance of um, getting something. Um, more of a chance of not getting something. I don't know what I'm talking about now. My caffeine eater is, um, what am I doing? Down a bit. He robs church just to get all the coins. <laughs> I don't go into ch church. Ooh, 2019. 2019. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? I spontaneously combust if I walked over the, um, the entrance into a church. Where's laughter with the facts and figures on that Guernsey 50p? La laughter knows everything, doesn't he? He is a pillar of our community. We've got some guesses. We've got L, we've got Z, we've got Y, we've got P. Any more for any more? Any more for any more? Uh, the letter U. The letters G, C, Y, Q, H, H, I, N, Z, P, F, Y, T, U, B, F, F, H, J, N, Y, 9. <laughs> 9. Q, J, T, P, Z, L, Y, G, N, W, F, S, X, X. At least they're there, X, Z. They, they might be kissing you guys in the chat there. Uh, J, C, F, A, N, X, H, R, Z. Oof. Richard Harmon. Richard Harmon. That's a shot across the bow. S, A, H, N, Z, D. Let's have a look. It's E. Anyone have E? Anyone guess E? I don't know, I read through them so quickly. Anyone guess E? Did anybody say E? Um, doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. No points for anyone. We've got E and we've got P. Very good. Apparently Finley said E. Points to Finley then. And you will know how to redeem your points. You rip off the top of your television set and send it to Bungle's PO box. And that is how you claim your point, redeem your points. Captain Plum is being uh, very generous. He's saying that was going to be a shield. Wouldn't that have been good? What does E stand for? 
is for English breakfast. One of my favourites. Very cool design. Pet peeves on the second bag. On the second bag we will do. When the TV is turned off, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah, definitely. Turn your television off before you rip the top off of it. And then don't turn it on again because it's not going to work. <laughs> Any luck, says Coin Coaster. Yes, we've got the letters E and the letter P. It's going well. We found two, which is, not, which is two more than we normally find. So I am happy. The Fez is being generous today. The lucky Fez and the Coin Gods are smiling down on us. It's hot, really. I think it's kind of, it's kind of cool today. I was 16. I thought that was going to be something then. I got a little bit excited. What are the odds of you finding an American coin amongst all those? It's, it's happened before. It's happened before. It's within the realms of possibility, by all means. But not for a while. I can't remember the last time I found a state quarter, a state quarter, or a US quarter, if, for that matter. Oh my goodness! Three. It had to be the L, didn't it? It had to be the L. We always find the letter L on my channel. It's a beautiful design, though. And what year is it? 2019. Wow, two 2019s. Amazing stuff. And Myla said breakfast as she walked in the room, but thought it was the 50p hunt. She was still correct, though. <laughs> There we go, how's that? Marvel or DC? I prefer Marvel, but there's a bit too much of it now. What have we got now? We've got LEP. LEP. Mm. OMG3 says going to I know, this is bonkers. This is absolutely bonkers. This is the best 10p hunt we've had in a long, long time. Like I said, it's the Fez and the Lucky Token, the Lucky Lucky Token, bringing us all the luck today. You can always tell a US coin from the Edge Hunts. Ah, oh, looks like CoinPig wants an Edge Hunt. Go on then. So, shout out your number. If I pick your number, that's you done. Let everyone else have a go. Where do you think the winning coin is? Where do you think the winner is? Harry's answer is eight, two, four, six, eight is a shield. Uh, number four says Nashay, one, two, three, four. Shield. No one's to played today. Laughter wants number one. It's a lion. Adam Boots says seven, two, four, six, seven. Shield. Uh, Robert wants, Roberts wants six million. I'll give you number six. Two, four, six. Shield. Uh, Emily Ellis wants number ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Shield. Coin Coaster wants 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, shield. Uh, Dennis Fitzpatrick wants 6, 2, 4, 6, shield. Uh, Tolly Hilida wants 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, is a lion. Uh, Lynn Mills wants number 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, is a lion. Uh, Noah's Noah wants 21. Two, well, two, two and one is three, yeah? One, two, three. Lion. Sporty Girl wants seven, two, four, six, seven. Shield. Um, Pocket Poet wants number seven, two, four, six, seven. Shield. Noah's Noah, you've had to go. Calm down. <laughs> Nashay says, my choice. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. This looks like a thick one. It's a shield. Right, let's rack up the rest of these. Whoopsie. Oh, behave. Johnny wants number five, two, three, four, five. Captain Plum wants the last one. Olivia wants number 200. One, two, shield. Mackenzie wants one in the middle. There we go. Faisal says Q, K, E. W and about seven exclamation marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Shield. Uh, who haven't we heard from? Who haven't we heard from? Patrick Woodson's the dullest one. Um, I'm going to say that's the penultimate coin. Looks the dullest one. Uh, Lion. Alana wants number nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Heads a shield. Uh, Sean wants 87. Eight and seven is 15, right? And then one and five is six. Two, four, six. Lion. 22 says Christopher Dewing. We'll call that number four. One, two, three, four. Here's a shield. Uh, Christopher Dewing wants 22. Two and two is four. Two, four. Here's a shield. Uh, oh, Caledonian Coins is here. I'll ask Cali. Um, Mr. Hatsuka wants number nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Shield. Judith L wants eight. Two, four, six, eight. Scoot wants number five, two, three, four, five. Shield. Uh, John Saunders wants six, two, four, six. Alana Burton wants number nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Shield. Chucky Garden wants five, two, four, five. Laney wants seven, two, four, six, seven. Um. Coin Coast wants 23. 2 and 3 is 5, right? 2, 4, 5. Shield. Tony Milnes wants the first one. That's a shield. Christopher Dewing wants 13. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Here's a shield. Uh, Edward Evans wants 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Shield. Uh, Blossom wants 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Shield. Who haven't we heard from? Who haven't we heard from? <laughs> I want one with a letter on, says Robert Roberts. Let me pick for you, Robert. Let me pick for you, Robert. I reckon this was a good one for Robert. That's ah, shield. My bad. Steve at Bucks Coins wants number four. One, two, three, four. Is a shield. Uh, Hannah wants 15. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. One, two, three. Is a shield. Uh, Mirica Gaos is 13 for my birthday. It This gone Thursday. Well, happy birthday for Thursday. I hope you had a fantastic time. 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 is a shield. Lord Gobi wants number 6. 2, 4, 6 for Lord Gobi. Way, come back. It's just a line, unfortunately. Uh, Cy Maximal wants the cool one. Uh, what's the cool one? I'm going to guess that this middle one's the cool one. Nope. Uh, Flash wants number three. One, two, three is a shield. The coin collector wants number nine. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to the front is a sheet is lion. Um, Christopher Dewing wants number Juan. Shield. Uh, any more for any more? We've got five left. Five left. Chucky Garden said number five earlier. It's a lion. We've got four left. Christopher Dewing, we've had you. Puzzle wants number two. One, two. The shield. Three left. Three left. Uh, Jay Cook and Nashe wants number four. That's back to the front, which is a shield. One and two. Addison Walker says number two. That's a shield. We need leaving us with a shield. We got Diddly. We got Diddly, unfortunately. Uncle wants a TV top. <laughs> Doesn't he just? I genuinely thought we were going to find our first Alphabet 10p doing an edge hunt then. Because we found a fair few today already. We found three. Three. Not just one. Not just two. But three. This never happens. We're lucky to find one. We're ecstatic to find two. Finding three is virtually unheard of. Thank you, Christopher Clex, says Lord Gobi. No problem at all. It's good fun. I like it. I like doing the air chance. I found a 10p with a lighthouse at Chicken Rock, says Zorksby. Awesome. Callie says, I'm here for my break, munching away. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your break. Maybe we'll get a chance to catch up with you a bit later. When are you streaming next, Callie? Let's give you a plug if you've got a, net, a stream planned. When is Mr. Caledonian Coin streaming next?
Aviation Media has, has a battery level of 48%. Oh, that's impressive. That's more than usual, Aviation Media. It's just says, I'm Team Tower, but I'm starting to think Cathedral might be rarer. Not a chance, it's Jesse. Not a chance. Not a chance. You've got people from Team Cathedral defecting over to our side. We're going to win. We're going to win. I was right last year. I'm going to be right again this year. Just you count it. Mungo won't get me in a kill, that's for sure. Mungo went all the way up to Scotland just to start sizing up kills because he's that, he's that concerned he's going to lose. You have 174 people watching. No pressure. <laughs> it's fine. You're all in my little webcam. That's fine. I don't, I don't need to worry about that. If you're all sat around me, I think I would be a little bit uncomfortable. Not only because there's not enough space in here for you all, uh, but with that many people actually present and watching, it would be a little bit uncomfortable. Hashtag skipping, sitting on the fence gives you splinters, doesn't it? Just team splinters. You don't want splinters there, that's for sure. But no, if someone would like to repost Caledonian Coins' link to the um, the straw poll as to what team we think is going to win, what's going to be rarer, feel free to post that again for me, please. The more votes we can get, the more we can see that Team Tower are definitely going to win this. We've got it in the bag. And then Bungle will have to wear a kilt to the Royal Mint. Don't we all know it? Don't we all know it? Anyone else from from uh, Team Cathedral that's gonna join the uh, the kilt bet? <laughs> Is that WKD? No, it's just lemon squash, lemon cordial, lemon squash, whatever you want to call it. Hello, Master Temple's treasures. Hola. Way. There's Kelly's link. But I'm still sticking with Team Tower through and through. Oh, definitely it's Jesse. A very wise choice. We're going to win. We're going to win. Edward Evans needs to go charge. There we go. Oh, we've got another one. And again, it's got a bit of weird sort of tarnish on it, like the one we had earlier. Again, 1992. Very good year. Very, very good year. Some say the best of years. <laughs> Sherlock Gang, where are you at? No, Team No Hope. You're not even not even an official contender in the Paddington race. Sherlock gang, no hope, absolute no hope, not a chance, not even a contender, not even a contender. It's like going to a horse race and the, the two horses, Team Cathedral and Team Tower, and someone has brought their pet dog along, their little Jack Russell, um, Mr. B Hoy's taking a walk with his Jack Russell and it's running alongside the um, track and it might win, it might win, but it's not going to win is it? <laughs> There's another one. Holy Toledo, Canadian Ryan, thank you very, very much. Fist bumping pigeon alert, thank you very, very much. Our third Guernsey, all from 1992. Very good year. <laughs> A very, very, very good year. Hi there, I've been watching on YouTube for nearly five months, but never really say much, only somehow just realised you had Twitch. Well, thank you for tuning in, um, K. Ailey? Ailey? Kaylee? Kaylee. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I need more caffeine. I need more caffeine. There we go. We're done for 10 peas for the first bag at least. We got three fantastic finds. We got L-E-P. L-E and P. Goodness gracious me. Two 2019s. I think the... the the first one was 2018, the other two were 2019s. 
So we should see. I don't think P is a new one for the book, but I print. I don't know about the 2019s. I can never remember the 10 P's at least. Uh, 18. Letter P, L, M, N, O, P we've already got. 2019. L we've already got and E we've already got as well. So they're all both, du all three duplicates, unfortunately. Nothing new for the book, but there's always the second bag. If the second bag is any anything as good as the first bag, holy Toledo, wouldn't that be amazing? Right then, we're going to hop on over to the gallery, the gallery view. These are all the redesigns of the letter N for the alphabet 10 P's. Uh, I will put a link up, I'll get the link together once I'm back from washing my hands because they've gone very gross touching coins. So I should be back momentarily. Hola amigos, I return. Right, straw poll. Let's get the straw poll together. Do, 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 do. Straw poll. Create. Create. Favor. How's your favorite? Are you in favorite? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I don't know. Favorite N redesign. Christopher. Collect. Uh, how many options have we got? 24. 1, 2, 3, Twenty-four. I'm just checking because people are asking if I can block VPNs. So VPNs are already blocked automatically. Set a deadline. Add an image. Allow a VPN. Only registered users. Require voters to add to their name. No, that's fine. So. You can't vote via VPN either way. Right, let's go into YouTube. Are we on the right YouTube channel? We are, for change. Right, the link is going into chat on YouTube. And now let's see if we can beat Total Coins. Oh, it's connecting. It's getting there. Did I beat him? Oh, <laughs> oh no! So close, so close. So be sure to go get your votes in. You can vote from now onwards. We will draw the winner at the end of the uh, thingy what's it. And by thingy what's it, I of course mean the uh, doodah. <laughs> um, fastest fingers first, all vote now. How many votes we had? 27 votes already. Holy to leader. Number one is flying away with it. Bungalize is a crowd favourite. Right, so health warning. I vape, you shouldn't vape. If you vape, you will spontaneously combust and that for the end of you. So don't do it, okay? If you have any further life advice you'd like to share with the group, let me know and I'll read it out. As long as it's PG. Holy Toledo, Patrick Woods with £6.66. Can I get a huge shout out to the NHS? Of course. Of course. They're amazing. Amazing, amazing people. 
Jono LUFC says go veggie. He supports he supports Leicester though, so you can't really trust him. <laughs> Christopher Doing says vote two. There we go. Coin Crystal Life Noddy. Eat more meat says Harry's Nan. We should cut down our intake of meat, but uh, I couldn't live without it. I wouldn't want to. Don't chew stones, says Mackenzie. Very good, very good advice. Don't eat much red meat like I do, says it's Jesse. Alan says mine is number nine. There you go, number ten for me this week. Says coins are more UK. <laughs> yeah, if you want to, see, if you've if you've made a design, and you want to say that it's your design. Feel free to let everyone know that your design is this design, but don't feel obliged to. Kaylee supports Liverpool. Who does everyone else support then out of interest? Who does everyone support in chat? Let me know. What is number 21? 21 is Nora Batty. Uh, that's uh, Bungle Collects Friends. Friends of the Magic Studio. Whoops. Captain Plum supports West Ham. Is Lady M here? Hello to Lady M. I see Bungle has made it onto another coin. Have you seen this for Lady M? It's Naughty Bungle taking his bunks for a muddy walk. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Bravo supports Swansea. Coin Coaster supports Liverpool. Manchester United says Alana. Leeds United says Janet Smith. Mackenzie doesn't like football. I'm not a massive fan, it must be said. Nick's likes Chelsea. Wayne, Wayne Simon says Nottingham Forest. Um... <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday says Cheryl, B Birmingham City for my sins says Steve Bucks Coins, Norwich City Football Club says Patrick Woods, East Fife says Keith Cameron, Liverpool says Roger O'Neill, I thought Ed <laughs> 21 was Ed Feniz, I thought that initially until I read it that it was Nora Batty, um, but I'm sure Lady M will confirm, Nora Batty for those that don't aren't aware, Friends of Bungle they are, <laughs> it's Jesse supports Tottenham. I support my legs, they support me. <laughs> very good, Adam, very good. I'd rather have a dark fruit than a wife, says <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Coin Coach asks, how's your letter doing? I've got a whole bunch of people to reply to. You're in the power to reply to. Harlequins for rugby, says Captain Plum. There we go. Accr Accrington Stanley, says Richard Harmond. Up the baggy, says Patrick Woods. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Christopher Dewing sports Minnesota Vikings. Rose supports Blackpool FC. Bradford City says Edward Evans. Crystal Palace says Canadian Ryan. <laughs> oh, Master Temple knows where Nora Batty's from. Bungle's still cloying cleaning, isn't he? He probably is. He probably he probably is, isn't he? Twenty one definitely Nora Batty. She lives near Master Temple. <laughs> Amazing. Right then, what's the scores on the doors? Number one, Bungle taking his coins from his bunk coins for Muddy Walk is in at number one with eight votes. Closely five follow, but in joint second with six votes, number ten. Number ten is Noddy, and number seventeen is joint second, which is Norton the motorbike. And then in third place we've got number thirteen. Number thirteen is Noddy Holder. There we go. That's the top three at the moment. Not much between them, so be sure. To get your votes in because they count. I still haven't found my scissors. What a bonehead. Right, let's have a quick hunt for the scissors. I'm so disorganised. I've got some... Um, I have some pliers to hand. I'm not sure that's going to do the trick, but we have to give it a go. Oh, that gives me a start. There we go, that'll do. I'll put that in the pot. <laughs> There we go. We're in. We're going to do the bag bags first. There's a couple of loose ones there. Right, we're going live again. We're going live again. There we go. I wonder, actually. No, it's not going to work. That's okay. I've got, I've got a good idea for next week's live stream. Right. 10, uh, 50 Ps. They are all... All the holders are in the book. This nice, cool, colourful, multi-coloured... Funny effects. I'm gonna just gonna zoom up a little bit because it's a little bit low. Way. We're a little bit low for the ten for the fifty p's at least. Right, stay. 
Look at that. Isn't that a stunner? So then, what are we missing? We're missing suffragettes, Kew Gardens. We started this book last week, so we've got lots to find. A whole bunch of Olympics. We've got b b b b b b basketball. <laughs> this boxing there. We've got fencing. We've got rowing. We did quite well last week, didn't we? Kaylee is feeling the queue today. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, we've got the last of the Olympics. That'd be a nice one to tick off as well. <laughs> so I'm not still waiting for that one. I don't want to get stuck on that one ever again. Ever, ever again. Puddle Duck Newton. Um, 2018's Peter Rabbit. We've, we've been a nice find. Paddington at the Palace. We didn't get any Paddington at the Palace. Bizarre. So that, those three are on the previous page. But there we go. Plenty of coins to put in the book today. The bag bag. And I've got a whole bag that's just spilled out on me there. Come on now. Have a quick sift through to make sure I've got any loose ones. There we go. Right then, so ooh, can you tell what that first one is? Of course you can. We start off with Beatrix Potter the Anniversary, a very nice find from 2016. Oh, change the fez. The fez is changing. I'm gonna do a bit of a like fez head here. <laughs> Looks like Alex Blonder for a moment there, with his little, his little quiff. Right, 2016's Beatrix Potter, a very nice first find. So Shields, look for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and also 20. Uh, for not intended for circulation years, at least 20 we assume is. Uh, Britannia, will look for the years 2008. We've got another find there, Paddington at the Palace. Very good. Not my favourite Paddington, but a very cool one. There's another Beatrix Potter at the Anniversary. Very good. A very good start to it. And then peace, prosperity and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. I haven't had many Brexits for a while. Oh, there we go. Our second helping of pepperonis. We made it three in a row. And there's the fourth one. And the fifth one. What, the, what on earth is going on? <laughs> We've got the pepperoni bag. We end up, with, end up with the pepper army at this rate. Um, Battle of Britain. What a busy bag this is. Holy Toledo. Uh, Battle of Britain. Is it going to be a JC or an IRB? I hope it's going to be an IRB. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> That's a busy bag, isn't it? How many votes does Craig, does Craig Burson have? I, I haven't checked. But you can click on the link and click on view results. And then you'll be able to see how many votes everything's got. Oh, Captain Plum and Harry's Nan don't believe. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Callie's off. Thank you for tuning in, Callie. See you later. Uh, Callie is streaming Wednesday at 7pm over on Caledonian Coins channel, so head on over there. I'll try my best to be there as well. No one thinks it's going to be an IRB. No one thinks that it's going to be an IRB. There we go. It's Jesse. You're new, now my favourite viewer. <laughs> it's Jesse Believes. It's a JC. Points to everyone that says Jesse, it said it was JC. But there we go. Oh, come on. Come on, dinosaur. No. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis. That's a lot of pepperonis we got in that bag. Goodness golly. Well, there we go. There's another one. Put that one at the start, because we know what that's going to be. We've got another Brexit. Another Brexit. And a Jeremy Fisher from 2017. Very common, the, tw the whole 2017 set, to be fair. Speaking of which, there's a Peter Rabbit. This is starting to look a bit suspicious. Um, Peace, Prosperity and Pepperonis again. And a Battle of Hastings. So there's a couple of... There are some in here that are... Um, there are a couple in here that are worth keeping. So what's going on? Battle of Hastings is a nice, is a nice one. A very nice one. 2017's Peter Rabbit. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis. Peace, prosperity, and pepper. Pe 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 so many pepperonis. That's another three of them. Good lord. And another one. And another one. You see Brexit. I see Brexit. Goodness gracious. After two bags, look at all these Brexits. I'm going to be bankrupt by the end of this, by the end of this live stream, keeping all of them. Holy Toledo. Right. Found someone's collection. It feels that way. It feels that way. We got a shield. Okay, we're back. We're back. 
Do you want a bet? I'm suspicious, Christopher. Did you boost the bags? <laughs> I'm not a bag stuffer. Nerd on this channel. Ooh! See this? Hmm. Am I going to get some Caledonian coins luck? Because that is a nice coin. That is a lovely, lovely find. Do you keep all the finds? I keep the uncommon ones, and I keep the ones we don't know mintages for, so that's definitely a keeper as well. Holy Toledo. But thank you for the super chat, Sean. Shani. Our first, Benjamin Binney. More pepperonis. More pepperonis. More pepperonis. Pepperonis again. <laughs> this is getting very odd. And Paddington at the station. These are going to reach up and touch the camera the way they're going. You want the book again, is it? I can never remember. My memory is too bad to recall which are ones that we have and haven't had. I'm going to see a lot of shiny coins again. I see a lot of shiny coins again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I reckon we're going to earn some points here. We're going to give some points away with an edge hunt. We'll do two bags. <laughs> we'll do two bags. Pick a number, any number. What do we think? Points awarded. 46 Brexits. They're probably not that far wrong. Harry's Land wants number 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. It's a shield. Jono wants 15. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Jono has found a Tom Kitten. So points to Mr. Jono. And that completes our 2017 Beatrix Potter set, amazingly. Um, Kaylee says 17. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 is a Britannia, sorry. Uh, Ian James Matthews says 7, 2, and so does Sean, so they can share. 2, 4, 6, 7 is a shield. That's 2015, I thought it was 2016 for a moment there. Um, Lois, Lewis Gamer says number 3, 1, 2, 3. It's a Beatrice Potter anniversary, our third one. Holy Toledo points to uh, Lois Gamer. Patrick Woods wants a random one. There we go. Patrick Woods has found a Benjamin Binney. Points to Patrick Woods. Uh, Nick says Brexit, number 19. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. It's a shield, unfortunately. Uh, Master Temple's treasure says number 2. Master Temple, you found a shield. Um, Stacy Lou's daughter picks number 2. 1, 2. Stacy's daughter's found a Tom Kitten. So points to Stacy Lou's daughter. As you know, your points are redeemable by ripping the top of your television set off and sending it to Bungle's P.O. Box. Christopher, yes or no for a bet? I'm not blindly agreeing to a bet, that's for sure. Neshay wants number four. It's a Brit uh, Britannia. 23 is a Q, says it's Jesse. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 23 is a Brexit. Brexit number 8,000 today. Linmore says Aussie wants number 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Aussie's found a Brexit, so Aussie can redeem some points by ripping off the top of your television set. Mr. B, who wants 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 is Peter Rabbit from 27. B, who wins some points too. Everyone's getting points today. Um, Edward Evans wants number 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. It's a Britannia. Taffy Coins wants number 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's that one there. Come here. It's a shield, unfortunately. Scoot wants number 5, 2, 4, 5. Scoot, you found a Britannia. Um, our lads, Katie Hull. Cameroon says 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Britannia. Uh, Wedgie Cut wants number 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 is a Britannia. Um, Captain Pum wants the penultimate coin. It's a Brexit. Uh, Britannia, not Brexit. I've said Brexit too many times. Robert Roberts wants number 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Robert Roberts has found a Brexit coin. So rip off the top of your television set off. Robert Roberts, send it to Bungle to redeem your points. Um, someone that's got their name as all singles, symbols and Milwaukee wants number 11. So both of you get two, four, four, 
six, eight, ten, eleven. It's another Brexit. So points to both of you as well. Mr. Behoy says it's it's a tango and cash in bag. Love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dragon collects number nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Shield. Denise Haynes wants six, two, four, six is oh come here. Breck Tanya. Olivia Rules wants 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It is Britannia. Macamula wants number 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Shield. Whoops. I'm a pro FIFA duck. Wants number 3. What a name. What a name. Pro FIFA duck has found. Peter Rabbit points to pro FIFA duck. Uh, Tony Milnes wants the last one. Last one is a Brexit, so points to Tony Milnes. Nishay's giving me my choice. I'm going to choose this one for Nishay. It's a 2016 Peter Rabbit. Very nice. Very nice. So points to Nishay as well. Chucky Garden wants number four. Two, four. Britannia. A Rose Ford wants 13 and so does Alana. So Rose and Alana both get two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's Britannia. Uh, Shani and Edward Evans wants number seven, two, Four, six, seven. Britannia. Pokey wants 20. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And back to this one. With the Tom Kitten points to Pokey Phil. Unbelievable stuff here. Uh, Steve Box coins with number nine. Two, four, six, eight. Back to the front with nine. It's a Britannia. Uh, Leaky wants five, two, four, five. Leaky, you have found. <gasps> Leaky found Olympic. Holy Toledo. What a find. I was starting to worry this is all, all of someone's collection, that was the, all the offshoots that they don't want. And now we've got our first Olympic. Unbelievable stuff, you know. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, dearie dear. Uh, Mackenzie wants number two. One, two. There's another Brexit for this towering pile of Brexits here. Muzamil Mia. It's a 7, 2, 4, 6, 7. Britannia. Um, number 7 says Tim. That's 4. Back to the start. And 2 is Britannia. And we've got 3 left. Right. Evan Evans wants number 7. No, number 7. Number 3. <laughs> what did I say 7? Points to Edward Evans. One and two, 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 one and two. Double points. Definitely double points for the Olympic. I'll give you 2,011 points for finding the Brexit. Uh, Captain Plum wants number two. Captain Plum, you've got Brexit, which leaves us with a Tiggy Winkle. What a bag that has been. Holy Toledo. This is going a little bit strange. We've got someone's collection, it would seem. It might calm down though. It might start cooling down. It could. This could be. That could be just be the the start. We've got another Beatrix Potter the anniversary. That is four Beatrix Potter anniversaries now. Good golly, uh, Brexit again. Brexit again. Brexit again. <laughs> oh dear, the Brexit pile is going to fall over. Brexit again. <gasps> another Olympic. Oh my goodness. Right. 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 Desperate times call for desperate measures right now. Brexit. I'm getting a little bit out of hand. Brexit's going to lie down. <laughs> right, these are all Britannias. Right then, what's it going to be then? Is it going to be the 2009 one that everyone wants? I've never, I've not seen someone on YouTube find yet. Is it going to be 2009? Is it going to be 2009? Who believes? Who believes? I believe. I believe. live stream until 10 p.m. folks it's going to end up that way isn't it <laughs> with all these fights uh kev B's looking for one. Oh, everyone thinks it's 2011 where's the belief people where's your belief <laughs> nashe believes there we go nashe there's a 2011 it is still a lovely lovely find two olympics so far holy toledo we've got another brexit that's going to go on the bar of olympics peter rabbit from 2017 brexit brexit Double Brexit, another Peter Rabbit, a 2017, that's another Peter Rabbit, and a Squirrel Nutkin. Lord, oh Lord. What a bag this is turning into. I can hardly believe it. 
buy your coffee all week with Brexit. So yeah, tell me about it. Whoops. Oh, I've just dropped another Beatrix part of the anniversary. This is all going very, very strange. Brexit again. Screw a nutkin again. A dictionary. That's a common one. Not as common as Brexit, it would seem, though. Benjamin Bunny. Brexit again. Brexit again. Brexit again. Mrs. Tittlebows. Woohoo! What a find that is. Where's my Peter Rabbit gone? I've put him down. Oh, he's there. Lord, oh, Lord. We never find this many. This is insane. This is getting absolutely bonkers. <laughs> We've got another Brexit. And public libraries. This is <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is insanity. <laughs> mercy, mercy, mercy. Shield. Right, Peter Rabbit from 2017. Brexit again. Brexit twice over again. Right, how many how many pounds how many how many Brexits do you think we're going to end up with by the end of this video at uh, the end of this hunt? How many Brexits we got? And there we go, Team Cathedral one nil, Cathedral ahead. That's what we like to see. Screw Nutkin again. Peter Rabbit again from 2016. All these 2016s, this is amazing. Brexit again. Brexit again. Brexit again. I reckon we're going to end up with like hundred pounds worth of Brexits at this rate. Ah. Oh dear, that's this is all falling over over here. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Something's going on over here. All my coins seem to be falling over. This is not good. Oh, there we go. It's not flat, that's why. Uh, okay. Professional streams as ever from Christopher Collects. Hands aren't working. I think I've got too much of a shaky hands from this insane bag. Insane bag. The bet is if you find a cue, you have to give it to me. I'm being serious. Not a chance. <laughs> what do I gain from that? 63 Brexits, 45 Brexits, 105 Brexits. I want a Brexit. I'll swap you, my buddy. <laughs> right, right, right. This is insane. Another Beatrix part of the anniversary. This is unsafe. This is. This is unprecedented. Benjamin Bunny. Battle of Hastings again. Second Battle of Hastings. Tale of Peter Rabbit from 2017. Followed by 2016 Peter Rabbit. Brexit again. Jeremy Fisher again. These bags are more fines than they are. More, more commemoratives than they are definitives. Brexit again. Obviously whoever it is didn't think Brexit was going to be a particularly rare one. Representation of the People Act. Olympic rowing! <laughs> Olympic number three! Oh, Cali, Cali, Cali. Cali has sent us the luck today, hasn't he? Holy Toledo. 2017's Peter Rabbit. And a Mr. Tittlemouse. <laughs> My favourite Beatrix Potter. That's our second Tittlemouse. This is insane. This is getting very, very bonkers now. <laughs> Never seen so many bitches put around versus one hundred. No, have I. No, have I. I can see a load of Benjamin bunnies coming up. This is great. This is insane. This is unprecedented. Never have I ever seen so many commemoratives. I'm not even calling out the Brexits anymore. They're just like shields at the moment. 2017's Peter Rabbit, Tom Kitten, Mrs. Tittlemouse for the third time. A bit of a smuts on it, but we won't complain. That's our third Mrs. Tittlemouse. Peter Rabbit again. Tom Kitten again. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, Team No Hope. There we go. Points on the board for Team No Hope. No towers yet, though. I hasten to add. Brexit again. I see another Brexit lurking in the background there. Another Brexit. Someone at the bank has been saving them up for you. That's how it feels, to be fair. Benjamin Binney. Victoria Cross, the medals. That's a common one. I'm going to run out of space. This is madness. Benjamin Binney and Peter Rabbit. Lordy Lord, I'm going to have lots of Benjamin Bunnies to sign and release, aren't I? Well, 
Won't be a queue for someone's collection. Probably not, no. But wouldn't that be awesome? Unless it's like, I don't know, someone's given someone their collection because they don't collect anyone. They've cashed them in not knowing what they've got. Peter Rabbit again. Brexit. Jeremy Fisher. This is madness. This is absolute madness. Brexit. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Should I have a butter dog? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Holy Toledo. <sighs> Benjamin. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Look at my poor hand. Look at my poor hand. <sighs> Unbelievable. Brexit, Brexit. <laughs> oh my goodness. And another Olympic. <laughs> oh, this is getting silly. This is getting silly. <laughs> Uh, Olympic gold ball, unbelievable. Four Olympics. Caledonia coins luck is in tonight. Good golly. Uh, Benjamin Bunny. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> Whatever that one is, the one with the words on it. Uh, hold on, I need a moment. I need a moment to settle my nerves. The return of Coincash has brought the luck. Coincash, you better watch every bloody day of the week now. <laughs> this is madness. This is absolute madness. And we've still got more bags to go through than we've actually hunted through already. This is insane. We found a puddle duck. Four Olympics. Good lordy. That's another 2011. Amazing, amazing hunt. I oh, know, tell me about it. This is like Caledonian coins is luck. What do you think this is going to be then? Apologies, apologies. My nicotine levels too. To um, uh, oof, I don't, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. Be hilarious if you got football just to know Bunko. This is unbelievable. I know. This is insane. Unprecedented. I've never had a hunt like this. Never have I ever had a hunt like this. This is madness. This is madness. This is absolute insanity. <laughs> it's handball. Oh, it's handball. Olympic number five. Palace at the palace. Brexit. Brexit. <laughs> this is mad. This is unbelievable stuff here. Goodness gracious. Tom Kitten. Benjamin Bunny. Brexit. Beatrix Potter, the anniversary. Another Brexit. Um... 2008 Britannia. This is going to be kept off to the side. I've got no space for it. All right, you're going off to the side, 2008 Britannia. And another Brexit. Man, I wish I wish we could have more hunts like this. Wouldn't that just be superb stuff? We're going to be here all night. At this. I hope you brought your, your tents and your, and your sleeping bags. This is madness. We have found more commemoratives than we have definitives. This is... This is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. A Benjamin Bunny again. More Brexit luck. Battle of Britain. Come on, you IRB. It is a JC. It's just a JC. I don't think my heart could take finding an IRB Battle of Britain. Another Brexit. Benjamin Bunny. More Brexit. Benjamin Bunny. <laughs> Peter Rabbit. Brexit. Jeremy Fisher. Jeremy Fisher. <laughs> Tom Kitten. Brexit. I don't have space for these Brexits. 
This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. This is absolute madness. What a hunt, and there's not over here. I know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bags left. Twelve bags left. This is crazy. This is crazy. We've got 120, 120 pounds left to go. There's another Brexit. There's another Beatrix part of the anniversary. Alex Blonde has just tuned in. What's going on? I have no idea. We found a collection. Brexit. Brexit. Battle of Britain. Come on, IRV. You can do it. I believe. It's a JC. It's just a JC. Brexit again. Brexit again. We're going we're gonna to run out of space. They're going to go off the camera. Tom Kitten. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Two more Brexits. Three more Brexits at that. Three more Brexits. And a Tiggy Winkle. <sighs> I've never had a night like this. This is going absolutely insane. I won't complain though. This has been an amazing, amazing hunt. Good lordy. Good lordy. We start with another Olympic. We've got cycling. With some schmutz. I don't tell Bungle who wants to clean that. Oh, we've got, we've got um, Battle of Hastings. You have to budge over. Um, um, Puddle Duck, you're going up here now. Oh, we were just out of shot there. There you go. Puddle Duck's up there. Benjamin Binney. Brexit. Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Brexit. Brexit. Pad into the tower. It's what all. It's what all. But I've got no space for it. Right, we have to zoom out. We have to zoom out. This is madness. This is absolute nonsense. We have never had a hunt quite like this before. Right. Make some space. Make some space. Right, you guys can come down a bit. God, my hands are shaking. Whew. Wowie. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, the Brexits can come along a bit. Actually, no, we'll start putting them at the back as well. We're not moving one of them. Need a bigger table. You're telling me this is madness. This is absolute. Unfounded. Another one. Anniversary. Peter Rabbit. Jeremy Fisher, Benjamin Bunny, Brexit, NHS, wow, <laughs> and then three more Brexits, good golly, this is madness, I've got no words for it, this is, what was on that bag? Camberwell, Denmark Hill, 30th of March 2020. Unbelievable stuff. I'll tell you what, if you live near the Camberwell, Denmark Hill, and it, um, that West Bank, I'd go down there if I was you. I would definitely go down there. Fancy starting a new book for all these, exactly. I'm going to start a new book again <laughs> at this rate. Benjamin Bunny. Brexit. Brexit. Benjamin Bunny. Brexit. Brexit, Brexit, shield, Brexit, 2016's Peter Rabbit, Representation of the People Act, Brexit, Brexit, let's not put the Brexit down there a moment, Paddington at the Palace, oh I've just mixed up, because I had off to the side. Whoops. This is crazy. This is mental. Where are you, Q? Oh, wouldn't it just? Wouldn't that just be? If ever there was a hunt where it's going to happen, have you got any breakfast chair? It's just spare. I don't think so. <laughs> it's quite a rare coin. <laughs> Representation of the people act Brexit. Jiggy Winkle, Brexit, Brexit, Peter Rabbit, Brexit, 
Shield Dictionary Brexit 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 Tiggy Winkle Brexit That's a Brexit as well I'm going to start saying Brexit so much it doesn't sound like a word anymore Right, let's put these on the end There we go Let's start a second row of Brexits. This is madness. Lucky recording this would not be I believe. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. This is absolutely mental. Um Tom Kitten. Paddington at the Palace. Brexit. Brexit. Oh, that was a dry street, wasn't it? <laughs> Brexit. Two more Brexits. Another Brexit. Peter Rabbit. And another Brexit. It's not very often I get lost for words when doing these coin hunts. But... Did you wake up this morning and think, I'm going to collect the Brexit coins? Not many finds then. <laughs> Goodbye, Christopher's plate. I'll tell you about it. Holy Toledo. I remember the start, Christopher said, do we have, uh, we don't have enough Brexit finds. We do now. We do now. And they're still flying in. Benjamin Bunny. Tiggy Winkle. Brexit. Oops. Brexit. So I'm putting the Brexit down there to stack them up. Representation of the People Act. Brexit. Tiggy Winkle. Brexit. Peter Rabbit. Benjamin Britten. Let's give some space down here. Right, start shoving them in there as well now. Apologies, my usual system isn't normally built for this many finds. Another Tittle Mouse. Our fourth Tittle Mouse. Holy Toledo. Benjamin Bunny. Peter Rabbit. And a shield. I tell you what, hunting for the key dates is going to be seriously easy. <laughs> Brexit, the new rarest 50p coins, because Christopher Clex has them all. <laughs> You should turn this to the highlights on a video. Probably should. I probably should. We've got a Peter Rabbit. A 2016 Peter Rabbit. A Benjamin Bunny. A Representation of the People Act. Paddington at the Station. Benjamin Bunny. Peter Rabbit. Brexit. Not many Brexits in this bag. Benjamin Bunny, Jeremy Fisher, Brexit, we've got a grubby looking Battle of Hastings there, that's our, what, third Battle of Hastings? Holy Toledo. This is mental. Absolutely insane. Shield and Britannia is now rare, you're telling me, you're telling me. This reminds me of the Q Hunt says Master Temple's treasures, isn't it just? That would just be superb. Can you get a bag of nothing after all that? Are we going to get a bag that's got nothing in it after all that? Oh no, we've got scouts which we haven't had today. That's going to fit down there. Good golly. And Christopher Ironside. And that's a shield. Well, that's the worst bag we've had. No, then he had that had three commemoratives in it. Mercy, mercy me. I need to lie down after this. Um, Tiggy Winkle. Brexit. Paddington at this... Wherever that is. Brexit again. Oh, Brexit is going down there for now. Tom Kitten. Brexit. 
Brexit. Brexit. Brexit. <laughs> Peter's part of the anniversary. Peter Rabbit. Another Brexit. Lordy, Lordy, Lord. This is mad. Aren't you glad there's no Brexit counter you'd be heading for, for a week straight? Wouldn't I just? Wouldn't I just? We've got Benjamin Bunny. Brexit. 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 Jeremy Fisher. Brexit. Paddington at the Palace. Taylor Peter Rabbit. Brexit. Brexit. Shield. Beatrix Potter, the anniversary. <laughs> Brexit. Brexit. Can I stop saying Brexit now? Do you, do you, I'm sure you'll all recognise a Brexit coin when I find it now, yeah? Can I stop saying Brexit? Do I have your permission to stop saying Brexit? <laughs> Someone said you skipped a queue. There's no chance I skipped a queue. Not on your Nelly. That one. And again. And again. And again. More pepperonis. 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 Benjamin Bunny. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I need a minute! I need a minute! I need a minute! <laughs> oh dear! Oh my heart! <laughs> my poor heart! It can't take it! It can't take it! <laughs> That's Commonwealth game. It's Commonwealth game. It's okay. We're good. We're good. My hands are so sweaty after that. I thought we had it then. I thought it was going to happen. I thought it was going to happen. Holy Toledo, man, a oh man. I said it was. I said it was nice and cool today. I'm starting to melt here. I am starting to melt. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm not even upset that that wasn't the Kew Gardens. I think my heart would have exploded. That would have, that would have been the end of me. Well, I would say all of a sudden, but we, we haven't exactly all of a sudden this. This has taken forever. For all the right reasons, we're on to the last bag. So this coin you may not have seen before. This is a, a, co a coin you won't see in many hunts. It's, it's called Peace, Prosperity and Pepperonis. Maketh the breakfast 50p. So if you're hungry, that's your coin. You won't, you won't see it too much, though. You won't see that one too much. Holy Toledo. This again and again. See how uncommon it is? We've only found three of them in that bag. Benjamin Binney. Four of them in that bag. And two more Benjamin Binneys. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So, well, look, so, um, well, that happened. <laughs> so this happened. This is a, a little bit, a little bit. It's got me a little bit strange. I'm feeling a little bit peculiar now because um, we don't normally find all of this. All of this is just a little bit some, uh, something else. This is um, very, very strange. And I think this will be going up on YouTube as its own separate clip. I have never had a hunt like that before. That is a first. That is a channel first. Unbelievable stuff. Um, well... <laughs> I think we should, we're, we're going to end it here. Should we should end the, we should end the live stream here, right? Because um, there's no way anything gets better than this. We've got a puddle duck, handball, no goalball, handball, rowing, athletics, r weightlifting, cycling, NHS, a 2018 doodah, all of these tittle mice. Anniversaries coming out of our ears. This is insane. Absolutely 
insane. And yes, I do have another 250 pounds worth of 50 pieces to have a hunt through today. I think the bag's the same. No, the other bag is a sealed bag, so. Chances are this isn't going to be repeated. Good lord. Good golly. Well. Put the new ones into the book. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're going to do, we've got to do that. We didn't get suffragettes, Q Gardens, Olympics, right, Olympics. <coughs> that was mad. That was a little bit strange, wasn't it? That was all a bit peculiar. I'm feeling a little bit odd after that. How many breakfasts? I will count them in a minute. What did I just take out? What's my name? Who am I? What are we doing? What day is it? What, what, what's, what time is it? What's the day? I need a moment, people. I just need a moment. We're just going to start putting the new ones in the books. Right. What was that? That was athletics. Uh, this is handball going in. Goal ball going in. Rowing, we've already got. Weightlifting is going in. This is mad. This is something else. Cycling, 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 cycling is going in. You know, I've always said I've had more luck with the sealed bags. Overall, I probably have, but that is madness. 2016's Peter Rabbit. I think we got a, we got we got one of them, didn't we? We got one of them. Whew. Holy cannoli! Do the other 250 pounds. I can't. I can't. Oh, my heart will explode. I need a. <laughs> um. That one going in. Why? Why? Why, Jemima? Unbelievable stuff, right? Screw a nutkin. I think we got one of them. Holy Toledo. I think we might have gotten one of them. The nutty squirrel. Madness. Absolute madness. This is Tittle Mouse. We ended up with th three or four of those, didn't we? Holy Toledo. What a hunt. Paddington at the Palace is going in. This is taking forever. Team GB we didn't get. Isaac Newton 2018 Peter Rabbit we got. Oh, have I done with you? Oh, you're right there. Right under my nose. Just hunting 50p's. No, that is one £250 bag. That is one £250 bag worth of fines. Unbelievably. Um, Bravo would like to say how much I love toasters. There you go. I don't, I could, I don't even know if we've got anything more to add in. My brain is a little bit kaput. All the Olympics are in. Taylor Gloucester we didn't get. Taylor Gloucester must be like the only which one we didn't find. So look at the look at the change in the book. We still need suffragettes. We still need Kew Gardens. For a moment I thought we had it then. For a moment I think we all thought we had it then. <laughs> we've got we've added a whole bunch more of Olymp. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't talk. I need to lie down. I need to lie down. This is madness. This is something else. Absolutely something else. Right, we're gonna have a look at the. Uh, we just stop this. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm gonna watch you. Watch you have a look at this. I'm sure the moderators will leave the thing about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
Whilst you're having a look and voting, I'm going to count up the Brexits. This is mad. Absolutely mad. So guess what you have a guess. How many Brexits do you think we've got? This is mad. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can I see if anyone's got it right? Da, 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 da. Oh my God, some people are close. Some people are close. 4.5 million. I've got the entire circulated quantity. Oh, Shani, you're very close. Sporty Girl is very close. Steve Brown is very close. Steve Brown is the closest. Laughter's not far off. We got 142. 142. Steve Brown guessed 144. 142. Mad. Mad. Insane. 70 some odd pounds worth of Brexits. Do I think I found someone's collection? There's a good probability that was someone's cashed in collection, correct. Holy Toledo. That was um, very, very strange. That was very, very strange. Christopher Clex, an average hunt. You need 94 more Olympics to beat my record. <laughs> oh, dear. What did you miss? Well, we just had, we just had the hunt of the channel. Um, 142 Brexits. Five Olympics, was it? Five Olympics? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, I've lost track. We've oh, Just for the benefit of... Um, that's the non-Brexit ones. The ones that didn't go in the book. Benjamin Bunnies. Oh man, I'm going to be sounding Benjamin Bunnies till, till the crack of dawn. Coin coach got it right, apparently. Wow. Holy Toledo. Well, I'm going to go wash my hands. My hands are filthy. Um, I'll leave you to vote for your favourite. Do, 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 do. And I've got to go and try and find some words so I can talk again.
Right. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put all these coins. Right, I'm going to put all the breakfast in here. Crazy, crazy stuff. Insanity. We've been spoiled now. We're never gonna we're never gonna enjoy a hunt quite like this ever again. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely unprecedented. Never to be repeated. If it repeats again, I think my heart will give out. <laughs> I don't think my heart could take another hunt like that. Mad. Whoopsie. Benjamin Bunnies. Benjamin Bunnies can go over here. Right, okay. So, well, that happened. Um, shall we have a look at the uh, straw poll, the results, how that's all going? This is mental. This is absolutely mental. We've had a grand total of 56 votes with number one in the lead by eight votes. Bungle taking... His coins for a muddy walk. Uh, number 17 is following close at its heels with seven votes. 17 is uh, the Norton motorbike. And then number 10 is in third place. Number 10 is Noddy with six votes. So it's very tight at the top. So be sure to go get your votes. And we've only had 56 votes. And how many people have we got watching? 210 people on YouTube, 32 on Twitch. Uh, so Plenty more people to, to go cast your votes as to which is your favourite redesigner for the letter N. Right, we're going to do two pound coins next. All we need is a um, a Navy Centenary bust to um, round this all off. Open because I still haven't found my scissors. Oh, come on. We need a link, please. No one has it. Um, hold on. Copy the link. Go on to YouTube. I don't, know where I've, I don't know where I've just posted that. <laughs> we'll leave it up on the screen. So leave the, the redesigns up on the screen for a moment whilst I get this all pulled off. You should start signing Brexits too. I'm keeping them for now. Don't know how scarce they're going to be. Madness. Madness, madness, madness. Holy Toledo, Mr. Behoy of the Super Chap <laughs> says he found 0.03555% of all Brexits in circulation in that hunt. Shani did ask. That was mental. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Right, two pound coins. Be gentle with me, two pound coins. <laughs> We've had a We've, we've had an exciting afternoon, so uh, exciting evening so far. We can probably zoom in a little bit now. We can probably zoom back in a bit. What are we looking for on £2 coins? Everyone knows what we're looking for still, right? Commonwealth Games Scotland, I think, is the one we're missing. Isn't it? It is Scotland. We've got all the other ones, all of the other ones, including the full flag era Navy Centenary. There we go. Wrong hat as well. Wrong hat. Two pound coin hat. The, the red fez needs a break. Hat change. Keep that luck going. Definitely. Whew. Wowzers. Our first find is Lord Kitchener. It's quite a shiny one too. Uh, so is it the mule? If it says two, if it says two pound coin at the bottom, that's not a mule. If it doesn't say two pound coin, it's the mule. 
it says two pounds. That's not the mule. I've got this on backwards. No, I haven't. It's just a bit crooked. Holy Toledo. Well, goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, wireless transmissions. Uh, Florence Nightingale, my favourite circulating two pound coin. It's a lovely design. Uh, can someone post the link to the votes on Twitch, please? I'm sure someone's got it. I'm sure that someone has it. Yeah. I guess to get the diddlies. <laughs> this is bizarre. This is bizarre. We've got peace. Uh, we have the magnanimity, not peace, prosperities, and magnanimities, <laughs> but not far off it. Ooh, Brunel's arches, achievements at Paddington Station. A collective of those words in whatever order you decide to place them in. What do you think that's going to be, though? What do you reckon that's going to be? It's a shiny one. It's a nice shiny one. Behoy thinks it's a great fire of London. It could be. It could be. Two pound edge hunt. Okay, next bag we'll do an edge hunt. I'll do two bags as an edge hunt. Navy, comedies. Mm -hmm. Britannia, great fire. Shakespeare, great fire. London, flag error. Let's have a look, see. It's Navy centenary. No flag error, but it's a beautiful coin. A lovely, lovely find. Another ship in my fleet. That ship is in the boat with the P at the end. <laughs> Just in case. We've got um, Guy Fawkes. Abolition of the slave trade. Very nice. Not the NIFC one there. Oh. Right. This is going to be a nice, calm, relaxing hunt through some normal coins to get my blood pressure back down again. Bruno's achievements, the archers at Paddington Station. Madness, 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 madness. I can't wait. I'll go. I will go back and I will watch that that fifty p hunt again. That was mad. Never have I ever had a hunt like that. Good golly! Oh, edge hunt. My bad. Uh, we'll do this one. Then we'll do an edge hunt because I've, I've messed this one already. Bruno's portraits. I'm sorry. My head is a little bit. My, my brain is a little bit away with the fairies at the moment. I haven't quite calmed down from that hunt yet. I'm still. <laughs> still a little bit lost for words. Right, there you go. Who can spot anything? Who can spot anything? Who can spot something that's not standing on the shoulders of giants? When's Ben's birthday? Someone just said happy birthday, Ben. Can you say a happy birthday, to, please, to Ben? Happy birthday, Ben. I'm sure the chat will join me in wishing Ben. A happy, happy birthday. Olivia Rules is number five. I think you've got something there. In victory. Magnanimity. In peace, goodwill. There we go. Olivia spotted that one. Well done, Olivia. Uh, Stephen Killy coins is 11. Two, four. I think that's shining on the shoulders of giants still. There's a funny mark on that one. I'm not quite sure I want to know what that mark is. Eleven. Two. No. It's a little bit misaligned, but that's to be expected to be fair of two pound coins. Number three, one, two, three, no. I don't think we've got anything else.
I think we're done, right? So the £2 coins is not a random lotto. It's if you spot anything with an edge inscription that looks a bit odd. Oh, we missed one. Or is it the one that you were shouting about? <laughs> Guy Fawkes, remember, remember, the 5th of November? Oops. I'm just checking it wasn't a fake, a duff one, a dud. Well, well, it's okay. We're all calm now. We're all calm. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what we can get. So we can get another case of the diddly. Surely not. Surely, surely not. Nope. We did. Outrageous. Bizarre, this is bizarre. Can coin tubers easily spot fakes? I think I guess the thing is we've looked at so many coins, we can you can sort of spot a fake a duff one, that's the act of union. A lot of it is in like the Queen's portraits, uh, the de the definition of the hair, the text, but then also it's the sound of it, the sound of the coin makes when they're clinking, especially when you're flicking through them. Like that. Something sounds sounds off. It's easier to pick out a duff one. But down to earth with a bang. We needed it. I needed it. <laughs> I definitely, definitely needed it. So, have a guess. What do we think this is going to be? What do we reckon about that one? I've got no coffee left. I have to get... Why is this all lopsided? What is going on with this hat? Holy Toledo. Will you behave? <laughs> I might have sat on this is why this is going funny. The skull says bravo. It could be. It could be. Great Fire of London says Adam Boots. It could be. Histories and Shakespeare's says Total Coins and Edward Evans, uh, respectively. Britannia says Coin Coaster. History says Keith Cameron. Brexit says Shani. <laughs> oh dear. Tragedies, skull, tragedies, fire, navy, Brexit, train, histories, shake. Shake. Tragedies. Let me just grab, just grab one. Should we have a look at the age inscription? What a piece of work is a man. What a piece of work is a man. What a piece of work is a man. Tragedies? It is. Tragedies. Obviously not with the era edge inscription. The, um, the army centenary edge inscription which uh, you can find on the, I think it is the tragedies that's been found on, isn't it? It is the um, tragedies you can find that edge inscription error on. Although I'll be checking all my Shakespeare's just in case. It's taken four years to figure out that that one's wrong. Um, there's a good chance that maybe we could get um, errors on the other ones as well. You never know. Abolition of the slave trade. Oops. Kazam likes tragedies. It's, it's Kazam's favourite coin. It's a beautiful coin. The whole I'd like the whole Shakespeare set to be fair. Bruno's portrait. What's everyone else's favourite sh uh, Shakespeare then? I would probably go comedies. I like the comedies design. It's just a shame that we don't find them down south. What's everyone else's favourite of the three tragedies, histories, comedies? There's another Florence Nightingale for you. Act of Union. Histories. T Bunny Scott to go. We'll catch up on catch up. Catch, we'll watch on catch up with the catch up. I hope. But thanks for tuning in, Teague. Mental. Absolutely mental today.
I still can't get over that. 50p hunt. Uh, skull, histories, comedies. Comedies. Tragedies, comedies. Comedies. Coin Coach hasn't found any tragedies yet. Skull, comedies. There we go. Wowzers. It's bingo, not bungo. Bingo bungo. Oh, there we go. There's histories. Checking out the top there. Give me one moment. Shakespeare's histories. It should be the hollow crown. Which it looks like it is. Very nice. We're just missing uh, comedies, and then we've got the whole Shakespeare set. I remember back in the day when I started making videos, it wouldn't be too uncommon to get all three Shakespeare's in a £2 coin hunt. How times have changed. How times have changed. We've got uh, Charles Darwin. And the last bag of two pound coins. To be fair, it's not. It's been. A, it has been a reasonable two pound coin hunt. We've got three nice finds. There we go. Well, well, well. Two Shakespeare and a boat. Very, very nice. Not as nice as the fifty p hunt, but nothing's ever going to meet that. Um. Meet that precedent ever, ever again, is it? Whew. Man, we flew through that one, didn't we? Holy Toledo. Well, this this, this livestream is going to run on a little bit later than usual, it looks like. Because we've still got 10 peas and 50 peas to go through. So I'm going to go quickly wash my hands whilst you guys go get your votes on. I'm sure we've all got the link now to post over on YouTube and Twitch. I'll be back in a moment. Right, we're back. We are back. If you're going to check on how the score is going. How's it going? We've had 84 votes with number one rocketing into the lead with 15 votes. That's Bungle taking his coins on a, on a muddy walk. Uh, number 10 is in second place with 11 votes. So only four votes behind. Number 10 is Noddy. And the number 17 has got two less votes. It's nine, uh, nine votes in total in third place. And that is number 17. What was that? And for Norton. So, it's still close at the top. Your votes still matter, so get get on and get your votes in. We're going back to some 10Ps. We're going back to some 10Ps. To be fair, we have, we had... I still haven't found my scissors. <laughs> we have had pretty good luck with our 10Ps as well today. We found three, ten, uh, three alphabet 10Ps in the first bag. And three territories. We found all the commemorative t <laughs> 50Ps. Currently in circulation in the first in the first fifty p bag, and we got a couple of nice finds in the two pound coin hunt as well. So 
by all accounts, a superb showing today. Wowzers. Has Bungle got a kill from Loch Lomond? Ah, uh, see, Bungle went all the way up to Scotland because he's, 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 he's that um, confident that his team's going to lose, Team Cathedral. Right. So, second bag of 10 peas. We all know what happens on the second bag of 10 peas. We do some pet shout outs. So, shall we do some. Some shout outs for um, everyone's pets. If you want to leave the, your pet name, your, the name of your pets in the chat, we'll give them a little bit of a shout out. All our regular regular pet viewers. Kevin Trelaw says, hello, what have I missed? You've missed the ultimate 50p hunt. We found everything. We literally found everything. It was un unbelievable stuff. 142 Brexits as part of that find. Crazy stuff, crazy, crazy stuff. I'm still, I'm still in a little bit of shock about it. We've got shout outs for Misty the dog. Uh, we've got a shout out for Storm, Loki the cat, Luna and Marley, Worth the cat, always uh, here as always. Uh, Jerry the cat, <laughs> Aviation Media, not going to get me. Bugsy the cat, Storm, Ali the former cat, Lucy the lab, Sam the dog. <laughs> You're not getting me, Rose. Uh, Hilda, Bobby and Cat, and Bally the late dog, Pickle the dinosaur, Sarah and Jonathan, Teddy the dog, Bonnie and Clyde, three cats, Baby Buddy and Titch, um, Luna and Marley, Weather the cats, all the regular pet viewers, Ozzy and Ruby, uh, they're still watching. Hello to Ozzy and Ruby. I think Ozzy's got to be one of our longest viewer viewing pets. Bingle the bear. Scruffy the dog. Delboy the staffy. Daisy the annoying cat. Noddy. Storm Shireen's dog. Um, Juliet the dog. Lives with me whilst watching this live feed. That's amazing. Uh, I hope you missed. Peter the Pigeon says Patrick Woods. Uh, Hepzibah the Chihuahua and Merlin the Cat. And R.I.P. Bertie the Bird who Merlin ate. Oh dear. Uh, Jensen, a ragdoll cat. Donkey Dan. Uh, Sir Poochington. Belle the nine-month-old chocolate Chihuahua. Ah. Uh, Diggory. Bingle the Bungle. Bulldozer the Hedgehog pushes all the others around. <laughs> Sir Poochington. Um, Shadow the Staffy. Uh, Jensen the Ragdoll Cats. Winston the Ridgeback. Tom and Jerry the Cats. <laughs> what on Jamesy. Um, Wedge and Axel. A big hello to them. Yeah. Um... What have we got? We've got Quintus Ripley and Brandy, the King Charles. Chip the Rabbit. <laughs> she means Sir uh, Preaching to know me. <laughs> How am I doing? Oh, I'm doing fantastically. We have had the we have had the 50p hunt of a lifetime. It was madness, absolute madness. There's any words to describe it. Anyone else got any other words that would describe that 50p hunt? Madness, bonkers. Beyond belief. Christopher greets his Benjamin Bunny. <laughs> Brexit filled, yes, there was the Brexit hunt. 142 Brexit 50 Bs. Never have I ever seen that many Brexits. That was something to behold. Frank the Fly. Crazy. Epic. Bonkers is the word for the 50p hunt. <laughs> Insane. 
Very good words. Very, very good words. That hand was like my gallbladder constantly repeating on me. <laughs> oh, I think I've said Brexit more times today than I have in my entire life. I might have said Brexit more times than they said Brexit on the BBC over the past 12 months. Crazy, crazy stuff. So we move on to some pet hates then. Some pet hates. What's wound you up this week? Let me know. This is our cathartic support group. Did we leave the EU then? <laughs> dear, dear. That felt, did feel like a bit of like a party political broadcast for the for the Brexit um, group. There we go. Hello, Sam Durant. I do remember you, yeah. Middle Lane Hoggers. Oh, tell me about it. Isn't that just a... Oh. People that zip in and out of different lanes to try and get ahead. Honestly, on a dual carriageway. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Cutting people up? Hopping lanes? I get it. There's a, a convoy of lorries. Yeah, you go around them, but... Especially in your... Stupid little Volkswagen Golf that makes horrific noise. Moody Bank Clarks. Oh, deary dear. Peter, he, people who can't use filter lanes. I know. Like slip roads. Use the whole thing. Don't stop halfway down it. Jiminy Christmas. Otherwise you're holding up everyone that's coming down the slip road. And Christopher finds all the coins in the UK. <laughs> Tailgating on a local country lane. Oh, you should you should have just braked. Should have just braked. That would learn them. That's what I do. In fact, the first ever long long distance journey I did, I was go to, going to see uh, relatives in Bognor. My I was still a learner. My mum was in the car as well. And on the way back, I had all my L plates on and everything. But this guy was right up behind me. Honestly, it was ridiculous. Uh, so my mother said. It said, wait till we get onto the straight road. If he doesn't overtake, just press press on the brakes, see what he does. And he left me alone after that. Egypts. Egypts. Anyway. We'll be sick of hearing about the brakes of ATP. Um, this reminds me of ranting with Trev. <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's what this is about. This is what it's about. The second 10 piece. We just, we just put the world to rights. Obviously, we need to remain PG. That's how your last car ended. That is not how my last car ended, no. <laughs> I've got Callie as my witness. I had a, I came around a corner and a taxi pulled off of the road, uh, pulled off of the path into the road, so I had to brake so I didn't crash into him. Taxi behind me wasn't paying attention, crashed into the back of me. That is definitely not how, not how that happened. Patrick Wood says, having a heart attack. Oh, my goodness. Well... It sounds like you're on the mend, which is what is, what, is, what, what is important, Mr. Woods. We can't have our, our jester feeling unwell. And I hope, and I'm sure the rest of the chat agrees and wishes you a speedy, speedy recovery back to back to business as usual. B-A-U, as Bungo now knows it. Been a lot of deaths in my area. Just last week, a teenager was killed by a drunk driver. Today, two lads' bodies were washed up on a local beach after getting into difficulties such sad times, and that's awful. Horrendous stuff. Drink driving. How? how what, what? What a selfish, selfish thing to do. Just because you want to get loaded, you will put the lives of everyone else at risk. It's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Totally agree with you on that one. When your cat eats your bird. Oh dear. How did how did your uh, cat? Managed to get your bird then. Deary dear. Been gazing at the snooker. Ronnie's awesome. It's the final, is it today? Isn't it today? Audi drivers, full stop. <laughs> I don't drive an Audi, I'm good. Robert Roberts has got to drink a formula on Friday. Mm. 
People on 4x4s who drive too slowly on flooded roads so you have to slow down in the water. <laughs> My driving instructor used to call them mothers in tanks. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve is when people drink drive and cause accidents. Sky News have published the article on Sky News, yes. It is beyond, um, um, I don't even know, courtesy or any sense, any semblance of common sense. Get a taxi, just get a taxi. Spring for a taxi. Or get drunk at home. Get drunk at home. You don't want to go out to pubs anyway at the moment. <laughs> well, they're one-way systems. Uh, when you are washing hands and your jumper gets a tiny bit wet. Oh, yes. Or doing the dishes. Doing the dishes and you're washing something and the wave comes over and splashes you and you get a line of dishwater on your jacket or shirt or jumper, whatever you're wearing. Makes you want to go change your jumper. It's worth it for the shirt because then it presses against you. You feel the, the water on you. From there. Littering. They are making the lanes and moors look like landfill. Oh dear. Again, like it was in it was in a McDonald's uh, car park. As I was driving off, someone there was a group of teenagers, a group of youths. They walked past a bin and threw the litter on the floor. So I beat my horn at them as I was going out, as all citizens should do. But still, if you walk past a bin and chuck it on the floor. Stupid. Wet socks. Oh, no. You can't wear wet socks. Not a chance. You'll catch your death <laughs> if you wear wet socks. Fly tipping. Yes. It's, it's free to tip. go to the tip, isn't it, most of the time? It's free to go to the tip. Unless you're driving like a commercial van. Get yourself, just get yourself to the tip. I know the queues are long, but it's better than chucking it on the floor. Otherwise, it's, like it's your council tax that's going to clear up your mess. When your council tax is already going towards the cost of the tip, go to the tip. When food touches your hand whilst washing up, you obviously haven't scraped your plates enough. We have receptionists at your tip, really? So can you book a slot to go to the tip then? That would be a good idea, because I imagine everyone has been doing DIY and gardening. We've Everyone's got a load of waste to get rid of. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, it's the per commercial people dumping to avoid paying. Hmm, that's bad, isn't it? Oh, it's 2011. That's not going to be an Olympic day. <laughs> I got excited for a moment then. <laughs> Madness. Finding nothing this bad. Oh, well. We have had insane luck, to be fair. We have had absolutely insane luck so far today. The computer algorithm for A and GCSE results. My heart and sympathies go out to the people who have their GCSEs and their A-levels and things. It's such an important stepping stone to later life. Uh, to well, even immediate your immediate life, your college application, your university of education, um, for that all to be decided by an algorithm, I think is very very unfair. Uh, because there are people that do well in exams that have lost that opportunity. Um, obviously, I don't know the answer to the, to. Um, what they could do is an alternative, but I don't think it's fair that these people that have worked hard for their entire second form education to then for it to be picked at random. Oh, it seems to be at random. Having to, because the teachers have had to rank their, their pupils from best to worst. I don't know about that. I don't know. We're getting a bit political, though. We're getting a little bit political. Which is not what we're here for. But my heart goes out to so those students and teachers, because it's the teacher's hard work as well. Dashing feathers, oh, thank you very much, Will Collects. Dirty face mask dumped on the floor, it's disgusting, isn't it just? That, it, it is grim. 
It is unbelievable. Yeah, it's bad enough seeing litter, but seeing a face off, you think, oh dear. People using their phones whilst driving, again, very, very uh, selfish thing to do. You are not that important. Nobody cares that much about you that you need to answer your phone or you text your, on your phone whilst you're driving. Get a Bluetooth, spring. How much it, it's not even that expensive to get a Bluetooth headset or hands-free device in your car. When people put the empty sauce bottles back in the cupboard. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> empty juice, empty milk. Why? If it's empty, put it in the bin. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve begins with the letter P. Is it pigeons, Patrick Woods? Is it? Could it be pigeons? Could it possibly be pigeons? Dog food not picked up. Ah, oh, it's grim, isn't it? If you're getting a dog, you, you, surely you know you are going to spend your life picking its its poo off the floor. This is an inevitab inevitability of buying a dog. It's not a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, sorry, Christopher, for the exam results. Rant. Let's see what's in the fridge. <laughs> well, I'm sure you probably echo my thoughts on that. I think it's wholly unfair. Opening something at the wrong end. <laughs> Opening a bag of crisps upside down. <laughs> What did they miss on two pounds? Was on a call. Um, we found Shakespeare's histories, tragedies, and the Navy centenary for our star finds. We're going through our um, pet peeves, things that wound us up this week. We're just we're getting it out of ourselves. We're venting a bit. We're hitting that release valve. Dog poo in bag that's been left. Who would do that? Why would you pick it up in a bag and then leave that bag on the floor? What is the point? What is the point? Opening an ice lolly upside down. Oh dear. And the sticks at the other end. Not good. Not good. The heat earlier this week. Oh, it was mental, wasn't it? It was mental. I was melting. The thing is, I'd like it. I don't mind it being hot. But there was no air, there was no no breeze to circulate it, and it lasted forever. And we had two or three thunder and lightning storms, and it was still as close as ever. It's like, good golly, but it's cooled down somewhat now. We got to find huzzah result victory. It is a 2006 Jersey 10P. Very nice. Not a total bust then. We found something. Not an alphabet, but there we go. It's better than a poke in the eye. The other day I was on a field trip, I do a lot of botany, and on the road, litter flew out of my car window and got stuck in a tree. There are a lot of people in this, in this people coming from this town. I'm country. Oh, flew out of a car window, not out of your car window. Mm. It's bad, isn't it? Bad. Just keep it in the car. Keep you Keep your rubbish in the car and put it in the bin. Having a panic attack today is a special of Japan. Well, I hope, I hope things are improving for you. But no, we're putting the world at rights here. And if someone shouts out something that you do, you're the problem. And you need to stop it. <laughs> if you're the, that person that puts empty juice bottles or milk bottles in the fridge, or worse, throws them out of your car window, this needs to stop now. <laughs> Otherwise, we're coming to look for you. We're going to come and find you, and we're going to take all your coins as um, as punishment. Found a Q Gardens whilst watching this. I'm over the moon. Holy Toledo! What a fine Finley's coin. Well done to you. P 
people are eating takeaway and throwing the litter out the window. Take it home. Exactly. Exactly. Where do we stand on throwing out, say you have an apple, eat an apple, and you're just left with the core. Are you allowed to throw that out the window? On like a on a country lane? Are we allowed to do that? Or a banana peel or orange peel or something? I'm always the driver, so I'm never eating an apple or something that something that um, difficult to eat whilst driving. Any Scottish 10p pieces worth any decent cash? Scottish 10p's? I'm not quite sure what you mean. There's the Loch Ness. Still cancels rubbish? No. There we go. Asked and answered. No bananas or oranges. Got to think of the livestock. Oh, I guess so. If they start eating random bits of fruit, peels. No, totally agree then. Take it home, put it in your home composter. Birds or animals could choke on it. And Patrick Wood says you can throw apple cores into the roadside. Oh, what have I started here? <laughs> I may have just wandered into a debate. Do you need to order coins? Can you go to your bank and ask? So I've got business accounts, so I can order coins. And the only way to find out is to ask in your bank whether you can or not. So most banks will limit the amount of coins you can get in or pay, get out or pay in, uh, if you've got a personal account. But where I have a business account or business accounts. I've got a much higher limit that I can take in or out. How many bags before we get on to Brexit part two? We've got one more bag of 10 peas and then we're done on the 10 peas. It looks like we've used up all our 10 pea hunt luck in the first bag. I would say it's not so much of a problem with apples as they biodegrade. I only wouldn't do it as it would be my luck. I throw it out the window and it knocks a bird out or something. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I guess the problem is if you have 100 people drive down a lane and 100 people all throw an apple core out the window, it's not going to be good, is it? Birds and bunnies eat apple cores. They do, don't they? We seem a little bit divided on the on apple cores, yay or nay, being thrown out windows. I hate filters on photos, Snapchat filters, etc. And let your na 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 nature beauty shine, says Bungle. Well, Bungle doesn't like all the poses. <laughs> I think we should all send. Um, Send Bungle image, uh, filtered Im images with filters on after the live stream. That's our find though, a Jersey 10 pence. Not the greatest, but to be fair, we had so much luck. Well, the next bag is 50 peas. It's sealed bags. So there we go. You can chuck watermelon out the window. <laughs> I think we should be, I don't think we should be chucking anything out the window. I think that is what the um, take home is from the conversation we've had. Did you know if you blended the apple pips, they would kill you? Really? Mm, I didn't know. Right, we're going to go back to the for the last chance to vote. Go get your votes in. I'm sure the moderators will post the links for you to go and cast your votes. I'm going to go wash my hands before we get into the slab. Last bag, I'll be back in a moment.
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. So I was just saying that um, you need to go get your votes in. Last chance saloon. By the time I get through this bag, there'll be no more voting. We've got number one, Bungle taking his coins for a muddy walk in first place. In second place is Noddy, with only a couple votes less. And then behind Noddy is Norton, number 17. So there we go. Merrily chatting to yourself. Well, don't we all do that? Don't we all do that? I can't be the only one. <laughs> Seamless as always. Professional streams as ever. From Christopher Collect. <laughs> okay, so first bag. First bag of 50p's. Oh, we're on the wrong screen now. Let's go back. Da, 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 da. Our first bag. See, this is what we're used to. We've got Benjamin Bunny. Because we haven't seen enough of him today. I'm going to be signing Benjamin Bunnies till sunrise. Paddington at the station. Very nice. My favourite Paddington. I'm sure this won't be a hunt like the last one. Paddington at the tower. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. We've got plenty of coins. We've got plenty of coins to get through. To get the uh, final scores for... Tower versus Cathedral. If you haven't voted on Caledonian Coins' um, poll yet as to which team you think is going to win, be sure to do that. Be sure to do that. We can't hear you. Can you still hear me now? I'm sure you can hear me now. I'm sure you can hear me now. I can see the volume jittering around. Victoria Cross, the Heroic Act. That's a common one. Holy 2002, Toledo. I thought it was 2008 for a moment. Neon Cloud has joined the hunt. Thank you very, very much. Over on Twitch. We've got a Battle of Hastings, which is nice. We've had a few of them today. And we, we've had a couple of this one as well. 2017 Peter Rabbit. Just a couple. Just a few. A wee few. Wow, that 50p hunt has really put us behind. It didn't help we had... Technical difficulties at the start as well. But let's put us about half an hour behind. We're normally wrapping up by now. Dictionary there. But as ever, I'll be over on my Discord voice chat. I'm going to grab something to eat. And then I'll be there. So it'll be about 10, 20 minutes. So if you want to come, if you're over 13, you want to join Discord into the voice chat with myself and the usual suspects that are always hanging around there. We have great fun of a Sunday evening. If you are of a nervous disposition, we do have a watershed at 10pm. So if you, uh, if you are young at heart, 10pm is your sign off time. <laughs> We're all humans. We're all humans. Roger Bannister. Can we have a Brexit? No Brexit. <laughs> We've got an Olympic though. Good golly. What a day Holy this has been for 50p's. CSI Clow has joined the Hunter over Twitch. Thank you very, very much. A very nice find. Great stuff. Uh, Peter Rabbit again from 2017. And another Roger Bannister. It's busy and no Brexit. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Time for meds and sleep. See you next Sunday. Lots of love. Over and out. Thank you for joining Patrick Woods. And as ever, I hope you're feeling better soon. Victoria Cross, the medals. To be fair, it's, it is, it's been quite a busy hunt so far, this last hunt, but um, in comparison to the last one, not so much. Holy Toledo! <laughs> uh, M. Irvine has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much.
And there we go, there's the equaliser, Paddington at the Cathedral, it's 1 all. It is 1 all. But my mega 50p hunt, you all, you all remember the scores, 8-7 to the Cathedral wasn't it? <clears throat> On the largest 50p hunt, so it's the largest sample we've had in ages. We know who's going to win, we know who's going to win. Go Team Tower. Those of you that are members over on uh, YouTube, you can use your Team Tower, Team Cathedral um, doodars. Emojis, emoticons, emojis, whatever they are. Victoria Cross, heroic acts. Thank you very much, Scoot. Scoot's telling you to hit that like button. Would be much appreciated. What 50p do you keep and which do you release back into the wild? Uh, so I keep the ones we don't know the mintage is fit for. So Tower, Cathedral. I still keep all my Paddingtons to be fair. Battle Hastings, any Olympic as a keeper. Um, everything else goes so far goes out, goes back to the bank. Oops. So anything that's over face value in my mind as a keeper. I still don't think enough Brexit coins have been found. <laughs> there will be none left in circulation if we find many more. So keeping Brexit then, yeah I will be. <laughs> as mad as that sounds I probably will be. We've got a dictionary there. We've got some emoticons. Master Temple is Team Cathedral. Rose Ford is Team Tower, as is Shani. Uh, as is Katie Jones Coins. Stephen Keedy Coins and Scoot, all Team Tower. Wise choices. Wise choices. Oh dear. Well, that takes Tower 2 1. It's fine. It's only a one coin advantage. It's only a one coin advantage. Nothing to worry about, people. It's all fine. All good. Why 201 watching and 119 likes? I know. Outrageous. If you haven't liked the video, everyone's telling you to press the like button in chat. Thank you in advance. Hashtag Team Tower, says Lynn Mills. Definitely. Definitely. Oh no. It's 3-1. Three three <laughs> it's fine. You don't have to win every game to win the championship. Just ask Master Temple. Christopher Ironside. Another one that I keep. It's only face value, but it's my namesake. So Christopher Ironside, so I keep that. There's a little voice in my, said, in my head that said... It's also Christopher. We should be keeping this. And um, as I do too, on too, too often, I listen to the little voice in my head rather than sound sensible reason. I'm going to start putting my initials on Benjamin Bunny 50p's and putting them back into circulation. I encourage you to do so. That'd be great. I think we'll make we're going to make Benjamin Bunny better again by signing them and releasing them. Imagine if you're one of your Benjamin Bunnies turns up in one of my hunts. How cool would that be? If you do sign one, make sure you take a photo though before you release it into circulation. That was a 2017 Peter Rabbit. In case you had forgotten what that was called. Are you making another token? Maybe. I've got the design already, but um, it's whether I want to sink that money into creating another one. There's a Benjamin Britton, that's another keeper. We did find one in the first 50p hunt, to be fair. Two 
2018 rabbits must be going to about 30 pounds a coin, no chance, not that much. Not the 2018 ones, no. There we go, it's 3-2, that's better. 3-2, another cathedral. We'll find more cathedrals, don't you worry, don't you worry. Google are monitoring the amount of coins in the last bag of 50p's. They ain't happy. <laughs> oh dear. Not good. Team GB. I think that might be one for the book, actually. We might not have already found that one today. Uh, Roger Bannister. Common one. Ducks aren't fifteen pounds, eight to ten pounds now. Yeah. I can't remember what price I put on the um Shh. I didn't say that, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Some of you know wouldn't know. Some of you already know. My mix up with my scheduling. <laughs> Stay tuned for Wednesday, shut up. <laughs> Oh dear, this is why I'm normally so careful about what I say, what I've found and what I haven't found. Whoopsie. <laughs> laughter nose, laughter nose. Benjamin Binney. Only our second one. Another Peter Rabbit. Come on, cathedrals. Oh, another Olympic. Wowie. What a hunt we are having today. The 50p's. The coin gods are smiling down on us today. Unbelievable. That's what. Olympic number... I don't know. Did we get five in the last in the last bag? Olympic number seven for the day. And the UK's entry into the EEC as well. That's another nice one. Crazy stuff today. Crazy, crazy stuff. Olympic golf. <laughs> oh dear. No cues though. I won't. Mo I don't. I'm not going to grumble. The luck that we've had today. I am in no position to moan or groan for the next decade. Because that was something else. That really was something else. I've had good hunts before. Where we found lots of commemoratives, but none, nothing like that. I reckon that that probably sits second place, best fifty B hunt. Apart from the, uh, so that first place has to go to the one where we found the Q, the Puddle Duck, the Newton, and seven Olympics. Jeremy Fisher, we're just missing Tom Kitten then from the twenty seventeen set. Although we made this set a number of times. Um, in the first UTP bag. Two shields. There we go. I'll hold you to that, Christopher. <laughs> I don't complain a lot anyway, do I? Do I? Do I? I saw an Olympic swimming in my till last week, but couldn't get it. Laughter says, was the till flooded? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what was that? What year was that? Oh, 2006. Not what we were looking for. Another Benjamin Bunny. Holy cannoli. So Brexit's are rare and valued above face value, right? 
So should eBay them with listings like super rare, never seen before, 50p Brexit, limited circulation, and list them for £2 each. Don't be a carpetbagger, don't do that. Don't do that. I wouldn't possibly comment on the value of a coin that we don't know mintage figures for, because the mintage is such a foundation of the value of a coin. Because mintage is impact on scarcity, desirability, restrain Dan from the tills, <laughs> definitely. Our um, resident till, till raider. How many bags have we got left? Four bags left. Four bags left, and then we'll find out who's won the redesign competition for the week. An empty bag. Bizarre. That's not happened much tonight. Mr. Library. That's right. That's right. Are you a good cook? No, I'm a pathetic cook. Uh, the best I can do is heating. I can heat food, I can't cook it. <laughs> the disaster stories that I have of my cooking abilities or lack of cooking abilities. Bonjamin Binny. There's some uproar on Facebook groups about Blue Peter 50p. Seems to be some theories about shill bidding them up in an attempt to artificially raise the price. That's not good, is it? But as with everything, things ebb and flow in value. We've got another Mr. Tittlemouse, an amazing, amazing coin. My favourite Beatrix Potter. We saw plenty of that in the first bag. Very cool. Drink 12. I thought it might have been 17. It's not, though. Right, we're on to the last bag. We'll have a sneaky peek. We'll have a sneaky peek. I don't spot anything though. Nothing jumps out to me there. Is every winner getting the same prize? It's slightly different prizes for the winners, don't worry. So, for those of you that have watched throughout the live stream, for those of you that have tuned in for 10 minutes here and there, for those of you watching on Catch Up with your Catch Up, a massive thank you. Um, this has been. What is that? 2013, I thought it might have been 2011. This has been. An exceptional hunt, an exceptional evening, and you guys have made it a fantastic evening as well. So a big thank you for those of you that watched, that are watching, that tuned in or are tuning in now. Um, it's been absolutely phenomenal. We haven't had a hunt like that before. I'm going to have a quick check through to see if there's anything new for the book. Uh, soft Jets, Q Guns, no. Olympic Canoeing. Canoeing can go in the book. Three Olympics still. That is an exceptional result. Olympic hockey is going in the book. Very good. <laughs> Notice the lack of Brexit. <laughs> it must be getting scarce. Yeah, we found no Brexit in the second bag. Mercifully. Um, who got Benjamin Britain? We do. Team GB, Rio Olympics. That's going in the book. So you know what? In two live streams, we've got very close to filling the book. In terms of what we've got left, one, Suffragettes, two, Q Gardens, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 coins left to go. Holy Toledo. What a result today has been. Toledo Gloucester is a bizarre. That's not a 
exceptionally rare coin, but I guess the whole 2018 set is pretty, pretty scarce. Um, right, who's won the redesign competition? Let's have a look. Uh, we're going to go over to this view. I'm going to refresh the votes. 93 votes in total. So in fifth place, one, two, three, four, five. In fifth place, we have... Oops. In fifth place, we have number six. Number six, which is N for Nature, which came in from uh, Scarlet. So big word on Scarlet on fifth place. Uh, number 13 is in fourth place with eight votes. 13 is Noddy Holder from... I'm pretty sure I know who it's from, but I'm going to double check to make sure I'm not completely losing my marbles. Noddy Holder came from... Where has it gone? N-N-N-L-M-N. -N -N -N. Mark Ade, one of our consistent winners. So well done to Mark on that one. That was number 13. In third place, with nine votes, we have number 17, which is Norton. Norton? Yeah, Norton. And that came in from Tony. So well done, Tony, on third place, which leaves in second place, number 10, which is Noddy. And Noddy came in from Grace Ellis. So big well done to Grace Ellis on second place. Very well done. Which leaves us in number one. <laughs> the most off the wall design I've had in so far. Number one, Bungle taking his bunk coins for a muddy walk, which came in from the one, the only, Master Dan Temple's Treasures. So a big well done to Dan on your victory. Isn't that just something else, that, that, that letter N? <laughs> Bungle is a fan favourite of the A to Z 10p redesign. So as ever, next week, we'll be doing the letter M. So get your, get your designs into me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. You can email a little bit. I might miss it if it gets emailed because my e inbox gets absolutely chock a block. Oh, it's, it's N for Nice by Scarlet. My apologies. And then that came in fifth place. Number six, that one there. N for Nice. I've had, a, I've had an evening of it. I apologise laughter. But there we go. But well done to Scarlet and all the other winners. It's, and, and to Mr. Master Temples himself. Naughty Bungle. Naughty Bungle. Oh, it's O next week. What am I... <sighs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What an evening it has been. <laughs> My brain is kaput. We're going backwards now. We've got halfway through. We're going backwards now. The letter O. Disregard that message. The letter O. Get your o, letter O redesigns in. Um, <laughs> we need to end this before I kill over. Good golly. Right, we're going to raid someone over on Twitch. Let me get a raid all set up. da 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 I can never remember how you do this. How many times must I have done this? And I still struggle to find it all. Raider channel. Uh, we'll go to one of our favourites channels to raid. Cooking with Kate. Well, as ever, who do I still see over on Twitch? I still see Chalky Garden, Mark Aday, Unbelievable Coins, The Coin Collector, Mark Aday again, Lynn Mills, uh, Olivia Rules, uh, Unbelievable Coins, Lois, Lewis Gamer, uh, Stacey Lou, to all my moderators over on Twitch and on YouTube, again, a massive thank you, John OLUFC, um, and everyone else over on Twitch, a massive thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye. And over on YouTube, I still see Tobias, Master Temple's Treasures, Special Little Pineapple, Alana Burton, Scoot, Wayne Symes, Coin Coaster, Katie Jones Coins, Ian Strudwick, Sharni Pad, Janet Smith, Bungle Collects Coins, uh, John Saunders, Andrew Watson, Finley's Coins, Rose Ford, Edward Evans, James B. Hoy, Unbelievable Coins, Laughter, Darren Cheshire, Nashe, Adam Boots, Mackenzie, Coins and More UK, Craig Burton, Cheryl M, Coin Coaster, Tony Milnes, Sydney Smith, Nick Thomas, Kurt Koenig, Shani Pad, Alex, Ellis Collects Coins UK, Snapdragon. Are we going to get a video out to raid? So I will leave the. Uh, hold on.
Oh, where is it? Uh, I'm just trying to find a video to go read. If you can head on over to this video and leave a holy Toledo in the comments section. Oh dear, I can't find the channel I'm looking for. That's the channel I'm after. What video are we going to do? We're going to do this one. You might see a familiar face in this one as well. An upcoming coin tuber. Go leave a holy Toledo on this video for me, please. Leave a like, drop a subscribe for this person. And you may even see a familiar face in the video. So again, as ever, a massive thank you to you all. I still see Edward Evans, Coin Coaster, Bow Selectors Coins, uh, Ahmad, uh, John Saunders, Stephen Keeley Coins. One of my favourite channel names to say, Stephen Keeley Coins. It just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's amazing. Um, Mac and Moolah, Ian Strudwick. Uh, stay on, do world card, do a world hunt. I can't, I can't. I've had, I can't. I'm, I'm ready to keel over. Uh, a miss, a massive thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more coins. Goodbye.